Hello everyone, and welcome to Stardew Valley. I thought I would choose a new game now that Pixel Shooter is all done with. And I wanted something a bit more relaxing than the fast-paced environment of Terraria. So I decided, how about we farm? Now, as I type all these things in, I gotta tell you a story. As a wee lad, I enjoyed Harvest Moon a lot. And this game has given me that vibe. The whole raise chickens, cows, and sheep, form those friendships, win and lose competitions, and just to have a lot of fun playing a relaxing game. Now, I should note that I have failed multiple takes at this, but no matters, no, no matter at all. Uh, we'll have fun with me hopefully getting it right this time. I picked Moonrise because Sanctuary didn't fit. Well, THE Sanctuary didn't fit. My name, let's be honest, we all knew this. And the favorite thing, Beef Jerky because Beef Jerky is good. Blue Skin because Blue Skin, purple coloring for the rest because purple, I like purple. And then, black shirt and jeans, seems right. Now there's a total of six farms here, Standard, Riverland, Forest, Hilltop, Wilderness, and Four Corners, and I could pick any one of these. But I'm ultimately going to decide Wilderness. Because I've done Riverland before, Standard's too boring, Forest, I, I have a forest right outside of the farm, so why? Hilltop, there's a lot of mining that I could do in other locations, and Four Corners, that's good for multiplayer. So I wanted a bit of a challenge, but also a good amount of land to actually farm. So with that, let's take a trip to Stardew Valley. And for my very special grandson, I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now. Let Grandpa rest. Dear Mystic, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago, 
I lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to a place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy, Moonrise Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? You must be Mystic. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mary Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's right there now, tying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you follow me. This is Moonrise Farm. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Ah, oh, the new farmer! I'm not doing an old guy voice. Welcome! I'm Lewis, Mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very... rustic. Rustic? That's one way to put it. <laughs> Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Mystic. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you'll buy one of her house upgrades. Anyway, you must be tired from that long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck! And with that, we must introduce ourselves to the people of Stardew Valley. Welcome to Moonrise Farm. I already can't control correctly. You receive 15 parsnip seeds, maybe a little something to get you started from Mayor Lewis. And also cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Alright, well, I can't control the game correctly. I'm not going to even bother with any of that. Some nice spooky decorations. Hmm. 
No, uh, I can't control correctly. Alright, apparently I just can't turn it on. Congrats to me. Alright, I'm just gonna get out here and uh, start by saying hi. Welcome to the farm. And I have a nice little story for you. During the intro sequence, whenever I was on the bus in one of the fail takes, I happened to see a sprite layering issue, which I will hopefully put on screen about now. Now, it was pretty jarring whenever I saw it, but ultimately I found it humorous because it's a sprite layering issue. Which makes me a bit intrigued for why it didn't happen this time. But uh, I'm not gonna worry about it. Instead, I'm just gonna clean up the farm. Get all of this annoying wood out of the way. Now, due to this being the wilderness farm, there will of course be enemies that will come out during the night and attack which means I can't really be out during the night for the first couple of days so for now I have to do all of my work here now which is perfectly fine my plan here currently is to just clear out some easy farm area for right now and remember how to play this game because I don't remember how to play this game I know there's crafting that you can do I know that there's skills but for now we're just gonna go ahead till that land that and realize I didn't till enough okay already off to a great start so I've only done one playthrough of this before and I didn't end up doing everything so some of the stuff will tend to be new to me but that's fine So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and water all of these lovely plants and familiarize myself with this place. We have a lot of stuff here for me to cut through. Maybe one day. Uh... Alright, so this is uh, where the greenhouse is, meaning the cave is right there. And I suppose one of the things I should do, starting out, is crafting a chest. Because this chest will come in mighty handily. I need to stop doing what I'm doing. So... I'm just going to now walk out and introduce myself to people and have fun doing it. Going to harvest some stuff from the wild and overall have a fun time. Now, I did say that, yes, I wanted to do something new, but I could have picked a lot of different things. Hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Alright. Ah, uh, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Okay. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Okay. Ooh, this. Okay. I need to just switch off that. 
go in here, say hi to people in here. Hello, you must be Mystic the New Farmer. I'm Caroline. Uh, okay. Yeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
day turns to night, and I have introduced myself to most of the residents here, I will appreciate any thoughts that people may have. For example, is this a good choice for a game to play? It's locked. Well, Because I, I'm having a lot of fun so far with playing it, and with how long this could go on for, at least a year, so 120 of these bad boys. Or I might cram two days into one video, because it can take a long time, or a short time for the days. I don't know. It, it just depends on time-wise, and this is sort of the trial video because of the tutorial and whatnot. So I think this is a good time to start wrapping up, even though not much has happened, but hey, this is a trial of sorts. I hope, uh... I will get some possible feedback on this, and with that I will put some nice stuff into the shipping bin, boom, 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 I'll keep that clay though, clay's useful. And with all of that done, it's about time I go into my house and sleep for the night. I will see all of you next episode.